Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be making a snail mail package for you guys. It's Japan themed, which is one of my favourite themes. I actually got out all my stationery that I bought from Japan to create this video and also um, bits and pieces that I've collected over the years. So I wanted to do a snail mail that you could take apart and actually put in your journal so I wanted to show you the creating of it and then also the taking apart of it at the end so basically I thought it would be a good way to upcycle I get a lot of mail in um, come to my PO box from you guys and a lot of the time it's really hard for me to upcycle or keep in my journals so that's why I wanted to give this tutorial today so that you can think of different ways of sending mail so that your pen pal can actually easily take it apart and stick it straight into their journals or reuse if they want to. So I actually measured out my own note, like my own little journal, and I got the measurements first because I wanted to make sure it fits. But if you actually know the size of your pen pal's journal, you could either ask them or if like you know they have like a traveler's notebook, maybe you could measure one of those. Then it might be a really cool um, idea to actually make your snail mail packages the same size as your pen pals journal if they do keep a lot of the stuff so today i'm only going to be making this snail mail package on one side of the paper so that i can stick it straight down and then what i'll do is i'll put a simple piece of washi tape in the middle and then i'll make sure that the letter and the goodies on the back you can peel off easy um, so you can actually, like I said, reuse it, upcycle, and yeah, hopefully your pen pal will be able to use the entire letter at the end and keep it or um, upcycle or send it off again. So it'd be really great for you to explain that in the letter if you do make one of these. So while you're watching my snail mail tutorial, I actually wanted to have a chat with you guys about the last video and address my goodbye video. I had a lot of people unsubscribe um, because I did say that I might be leaving YouTube but I hadn't made my decision yet so this video is basically me explaining my decision and I'm back again another week so <laughs> here it is um, here's the decision and I just wanted to let you guys know that this was not an easy decision to make it actually was a very emotional week for me when I released that goodbye video um, for a number of reasons. So I'm going to go through the story of what happened once I clipped upload all the way through to when I made my final decision and everything that happened in between. So let's start this story on Thursday morning. It was 12am. I stayed up the entire night, Wednesday night, to actually press publish on this video. I usually just schedule it and it will release at 12 a.m. but I was so anxious to release this video that I stayed up until the morning and then I started crying once I submitted this video live on YouTube. I had a lot of nerves and I wasn't ready to say goodbye to five years of YouTube and to this amazing community. As you can imagine, I have spent a lot of time and effort creating this community and this YouTube channel and it felt like I was say like it, it felt like I was grieving <laughs> when I when I felt like I was gonna say goodbye because I make a video like for the past five years I think I've nearly made a video once a week for the past five years. So I'm always thinking about new ideas, new videos, things to film and it's become part of my everyday life. A lot of people ask me how I continually make videos and how I stay consistent. And after you make it a habit, it just becomes life. So a lot of the time, it's it's just second nature. It's just like brushing my teeth. I make a video once a week. So after I released this video, I just started crying. And I wasn't sure why. I knew that I was nervous for the entire day, but... It just hit me all at once that I just wasn't ready to say goodbye. But I knew that it was taking a toll because, like I mentioned in my last video, seeing the views and subscriber count decline, I was checking nearly every day, multiple times a day, and I, yeah, was getting 
probably at a point where my mental health was going a bit downhill because of it. And I knew that if I continued, it would continue to um, decrease my mental health. So that's when I decided I'm just going to put this out there, um, see what response I get, and then I'll make my decision from there. So like I said, this video is me telling you my decision, basically. Now, there was so many people who replied and I was just overwhelmed by the amount of responses. I couldn't even comprehend that I had so many people just write like really long comments under the video and in detail about the questions that I asked. So you guys really went in detail, gave me lots of amazing advice and helped me um, change perspective. And one of the biggest things that helped me change the perspective was that I started seeing this community as individual people again and stopped seeing it as numbers. And a lot of people reached out to me, not only in the comment section here on YouTube, but also over on Instagram. I lot I got a lot of direct messages of people just wanting to Re respond and and say that they're there for me and that these videos have helped them in one way or another and to actually show me that you're individuals and that you're not only connected to my YouTube but over on Instagram people emailed me as well which I thought was absolutely amazing and um, I actually got a call from a YouTuber friend um, which again <laughs> put me into a state of crying <laughs> in a good way, in a good way um, because I was just seeing all these people reach out and just asking me if I'm okay and if I want to talk and um, it was just, it just really opened my eyes up to that actual community that I've built and it's not about posting a video and just creating content, it, it is about that interactive act interaction that I have with you guys so I just want to say a huge thank you to every single person who wrote a comment I really really thank you for going in detail and telling me how you found my channel and what you like and the advice you gave and a huge thank you to everyone who reached out to me via Instagram email um, and other means as well so I really appreciate it now, I, w I was really sick the next day and I think that was my body telling me to relax um, and I think I was overwhelmed and my body kind of just went into like a, not a breakdown, but um, it basically it was just warning signs of telling me to rest a bit, I think. So I was sick for a little bit um, and I did have a bit of a rest and I then started realizing that I need to make a decision. So I actually processed this overwhelming amount of responses and I started just decluttering my room. <laughs> I know that sounds like a really weird thing to do, but I just needed to kind of get all the crap out of the room and I felt like that was a way of me kind of getting all the stuff that was kind of going on inside of my head. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but when there's a lot going on, I like to declutter and get rid of stuff, and it does feel like I'm getting rid of stuff inside of me too. So I'm, I got rid of some old drawers that fell apart and got some new systems in this room, and it really actually gave me a bit of clarity. So, of course, me being a YouTuber, I instantly picked up the camera and started filming it. And I, it just became so natural to, to grab the camera, put the tripod down, film everything. I didn't even know if I was coming back to YouTube at this point. And I was like, it was like second nature to film myself just decluttering this room. So I now have a video for you guys next week. It's going to be a fun one. <laughs> I am a little bit sick in the video and you might be able to see that I'm a bit overwhelmed. But hopefully it's going to be a fun video because... At the end of it, I was really satisfied with the outcome and you can kind of see me go through the process of being exhausted and tired and then rejuvenated at the end. So <laughs> let me know in that video in the comments if you can see me going on a bit of an emotional roller coaster. Um, 
But coming back to this video, um, like I said, it was an emotional few days and I had chats, with, like long chats with my mum on the phone. Um, my sister helped me um, get the flak back from Ikea and we put that together. Um, so we ended up having some long chats as well. And what it came down to was if I'm going to continue making YouTube videos, I need to really set some boundaries and I need to remember that YouTube is a fun hobby and that I shouldn't look at the numbers and think that it's going to grow into something that maybe it never will because that will really stress me out and that's what it's done in the past. I've tried to build it up into a career and like don't get me wrong, YouTube has opened up so many doors that and possibilities that I wouldn't have had access to before. So I'm already at a place that I wasn't at five years ago. So now that I have my Patreon and my shop and, and other things like um, deals with like Kiki K and stuff like that and things like that really have come from YouTube. So I should thank <laughs> this platform that I have had some amazing experiences that have come out of starting a YouTube channel. But for me, thinking that I need to get YouTube to a certain number to hit success is, is something that was really stressing me out. And I still have stresses in my life. Like I still stress about things that... I need to do to um, progress forward and that's something that I'm working on inside of myself but in order for me to continue YouTube I need to start actually seeing it as a fun hobby again and since it is second nature for me to pick up a camera I need to stop stressing about little things like I sometimes will stress for an entire day if the sky starts getting cloudy over the sun because I can't make a video and that was in my schedule for that day and then I'm worried that if I do make a video that day that you guys are going to be upset because it's not as bright as my normal videos so things like lighting can stress me out um, and I don't see it as stress I see it as just my brain working <laughs> I was going to say my brain working in, on overdrive and that's sometimes what it feels like I can get into a state where I'm thinking about things so much that I end up getting a headache. So my body is really good at telling me to slow down. Um, but I shouldn't need to get to those stages. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to pick up the camera if something is fun for me to film. I'm not going to think about a weekly schedule. Before, I, like I said, I was making two videos a week. And now I'm just going to make videos when I want to, when it's fun. So that will take that stress off that I don't have to make a video every single week. Um, even though I will try to be consistent as possible. Like if I've got videos lined up, I'm going to try to post um, Thursday mornings 12am. But if I don't, I'm not going to stress about it. And I'm, I'm putting this video out there to let you guys know that don't expect it. Um, because I need to, I need my own life back and I need to set boundaries for myself. Another thing is checking statistics and there's this website that I go to where you can compare yourself to channels similar to yourself and I'm going to avoid going on that website as much as possible um, because it really does affect my um, mental health and yeah I think also getting back to comments. Now I wanted to Thank you guys via video for all the amazing comments you posted on my last video. But I did actually get a lot of stress thinking that I had to reply back to every single comment. And I think there ended up being over 70 or 80 comments by the end of the second day that I'd posted the goodbye video. So I sat down so many times with my computer in front of me ready to reply back to all your comments and I was so like in an emotional state that I wanted to really just make every single comment heartfelt and make sure that you all felt that you've you've been heard by me um, but I sat there and I started staring at my computer screen and I couldn't type anything I just nothing came out I had no energy and it felt so weird for me not to be able to do something because I am someone who usually has that energy and motivation. I think it was a combination of me feeling 
sad for saying goodbye, me feeling unsure of what next steps were going to be, also my body telling me to stop. I just finished uni and all my exams and I needed to just slow down a bit. And also I was still pushing myself for my shop and my business since I've got a new subscription box launch and I've been wanting to make that as successful as possible. So there was a lot of things going on and um, I'm not going to say sorry for not getting back to all your messages. I'm going to say I really, really appreciate all of your messages. I read them all and I took in all your advice. So thank you. And if some reason I don't reply back to some of your messages, it's not because I'm not reading them, it's because I don't have the <laughs> the energy to reply back to every single one all the time. But I will try my best um, whenever I can because I really do love reading them. And you guys have just made me realize how much I really love doing what I do and I really I'm gonna cry again <laughs> no um and that that yeah this means more than just making videos this is part of who I am so thank you <laughs> um okay I'm going to leave the video here today um because I've said all my thank yous <laughs> um and yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be coming back um, and that I appreciate each one of you and this wouldn't be possible without you guys. So I'm going to continue making fun videos with lots of voiceovers. I did read your comments and I took everything on board that you guys said, so thank you. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching um, me make this little snail mail package for you guys today. I love the... I love... Japan as a theme to make um, so yeah I, I enjoyed this video a lot and I really liked the outcome and I hope that you guys can think of ways to upcycle and yeah gift things in your snail mail packages that people can reuse or, or put into their journals so thank you and I may or may not see you next week <laughs> alright bye